It is often said that a single image can convey the essence of a thousand words, and this becomes even more profound when we consider extinct dog breeds. Just imagine the impact of catching a glimpse of a long extinct creature that once shared our world. In today's video, we have compiled a collection of 20 previously unseen photographs showcasing these remarkable breeds that no longer exist. Join us on this exploration as we uncover the stories behind each captivating breed, allowing you to witness these rare images firsthand. Get ready to be astonished by the incredible discoveries that await you. Number 20. Cordoba Fighting Dog Deep in the annals of canine history lies a breed known for its remarkable strength, resilience, and ultimately its transformation into a new lineage of dogs. The Cordoba Fighting Dog, originating from Argentina, captivated the world with its tenacity and formidable nature. It has lots of unique attributes and a profound impact on the evolution of contemporary dogs. The Cordoba Fighting Dog was a remarkable amalgamation of four powerful breeds, the Mastiff, Bull Terrier, Bulldog, and Boxer. This combination bestowed upon them an unparalleled blend of strength, agility, and courage. These dogs were bred for dogfighting, a cruel practice that exploited their extraordinary stamina and remarkable pain tolerance. However, this unfortunate association played a significant role in their decline as it led to their extinction. One of the distinguishing characteristics of the Cordoba fighting dog was their sheer strength, which sometimes manifested in unfortunate ways. During the mating process, the male's power was so overwhelming that it often resulted in the accidental death of the females. This unsettling attribute, although unintentional, may have contributed to the breed's dwindling numbers and eventual demise. But just as the sun sets, giving way to a new dawn, the Cordoba fighting dog story took an unexpected turn. From their ashes rose a new breed that would carry on their legacy, the Dogo Argentino. This remarkable transformation was achieved through the careful crossbreeding of the Cordoba fighting dog with other large breeds such as the Great Dane and the Dog de Bordeaux. Number 19. Brac du Puy. The Brac du Puy. While believed to be extinct, this extraordinary canine lineage from the Poitou region of France continues to bewitch us with its enigmatic history. Legends swirl around the creation of the Brac du Puy. Some stories trace its roots to a visionary breeder named Du Puy, who meticulously crafted this exceptional breed by crossbreeding the noble Brac Francaise dogs from the illustrious kennels of the Marquis de Roche Lambert. Others spin a tale of a ranger named Dupuy, diligently safeguarding an ancient breed from the brink of extinction during the tumultuous era of the French Revolution. Yet, regardless of its origins, the Brac Dupuy was an extraordinary breed that left an indelible mark on the hearts of those who encountered it. Distinguished by its long, lean head and a lively countenance reminiscent of hounds, the Brac Dupuy possessed a captivating appearance. Towering over its counterparts, this breed stood proudly at an impressive height of 26 to 27 inches, making it the tallest among the French Brac breeds. Adorned predominantly in a coat of glistening white, accented with striking dark brown markings, the Brac Dupuy exuded an air of elegance and grace. Its loose tail, a distinguishing feature, added an extra touch of allure to this majestic creature. Despite its remarkable attributes, the Brac du Puy remained relatively unknown beyond the borders of France. Sadly, the passage of time has cast a veil of uncertainty over the breed's continued existence. Number 18. Sakhalin Husky Meet the Sakhalin Husky, a captivating canine whose tail takes us from its glory days to the somber reality of its impending extinction. Resembling a mesmerizing blend of an Akita Inu and a Siberian Husky, the Sakhalin Husky once graced the icy landscapes of Russia and northern Japan, serving as a loyal sled and working dog. With a resplendent thick coat that would rival the snow-covered landscapes they traversed, the Sakhalin Husky possessed an undeniable allure. This breed gained prominence as a trusted companion in cold climates, its endurance and strength making it an invaluable asset, particularly during the harsh winters of Russia and northern Japan. Renowned for their sled-pulling capabilities, these dogs were employed by the Soviet Army during World War II, capturing the hearts of soldiers and civilians alike. However, the rise of the Sakhalin Husky was tragically short-lived. The Soviet Army, with a heavy heart, discovered an unforeseen challenge, 
the prodigious appetites of these majestic canines. It was revealed that the Sakhalin Huskies had developed a fondness for devouring salmon, their voracious appetites proving to be an unsustainable burden. Faced with the difficult decision of cost versus utility, the Soviets made the heart-wrenching choice to significantly reduce the numbers of these magnificent creatures. This fateful decision marked the beginning of a decline that would eventually push the breed perilously close to extinction. Number 17. Russian Tracker In the breathtaking snow-cloaked mountains of the Caucasus, a remarkable canine companion stood as a stalwart protector and herder for the Indo-Aryan people. Meet the Russian Tracker, a majestic and formidable breed that served humanity for centuries. Revered for their immense size, standing nearly 30 inches tall and weighing up to 100 pounds, these noble dogs fearlessly defended herds from the constant threat of wolves and wild bears. Through the annals of time, the Russian Tracker earned legendary status for its unwavering devotion and remarkable capabilities. In the face of harsh mountain winters, this breed fearlessly guarded and guided the herds of the Indo-Aryan people. Endowed with a resilient nature and a robust physique, the Russian tracker possessed the strength and courage required to fend off the predatory threats that lurked in the shadows. One of the most astonishing attributes of the Russian tracker was its self-sufficiency. Known for their ability to survive in the vast, snowy wilderness for extended periods, these dogs were said to have accompanied their flocks for months without the need for external support or human intervention. Their remarkable adaptability and resourcefulness made them invaluable companions to the local farmers, who relied on their unwavering loyalty and tireless dedication. The exact date of the Russian tracker's extinction remains shrouded in uncertainty. Historians speculate that the breed's decline coincided with the advent of modern agricultural practices. Its existence slips away during the early 20th century. Number 16. Hare Indian Dog Nestled within the vast expanse of northern Canada, a captivating breed of dog emerges from the mists of history. Behold the Hare Indian Dog, an enchanting companion that once served the Indian Hare tribe as both a skilled hunter and a reliable sled dog. As we embark on our quest for knowledge, we encounter the enigmatic veil that shrouds the true lineage of the Hare Indian Dog. Various theories emerge, each offering a glimpse into the breed's origins. Some speculate that these remarkable canines are descendants of the wild coyote, their pack behavior and haunting howls reminiscent of their untamed relatives. Others argue that their friendly and loyal nature towards humans suggests a history of domestication indicating a deep bond forged between the breed and its human companions. Yet another intriguing hypothesis proposes a connection to Viking dogs, positing that these dogs were brought to northern Canada over 2,000 years ago, leaving an indelible mark on the breed's genetic makeup. Amidst these speculations, the true genesis of the Hare Indian dog remains a tantalizing enigma. Alas, as the tides of time shifted, so too did the Hare Indian dog's role within the tribe. With the advent of more efficient hunting weapons, the breed's utility as both a skilled hunter and a reliable sled dog diminished. This transition led to crossbreeding with other breeds, such as the Newfoundland and Huskies, altering the breed's genetic makeup and signaling the beginning of a transformation. Number 15. English White Terrier a breed that left an indelible mark despite its short-lived existence. Unlike its contemporaries, this unique and peculiar breed was exclusively developed for dog shows, embodying a vision shared by dedicated dog breeders who sought to create a distinct terrier with pointed ears. Regrettably, the legacy of the English White Terrier is entwined with a range of health and behavioral problems which were prevalent due to the detrimental effects of inbreeding. A significant portion of these magnificent dogs were born either partially or completely deaf, making their lives all the more challenging. While some individuals attempted to utilize them as hunters or skilled rat catchers, the breed's genetic afflictions rendered them ill-suited for these tasks, unable to perform to the desired standards. This inherent mismatch between their purpose and their capabilities further contributed to their declining popularity among the public. 
As the years passed, the English White Terrier's genetic woes became increasingly evident, resulting in a steady decline in their numbers. Within a mere three decades of their introduction to the kennel club scene, the breed faced extinction. Number 14. Tweed Water Spaniel From Scotland, derived from the river that bears its name, this breed emerged as a loyal and diligent worker, exhibiting its prowess both on land and in the water. With a distinctive appearance characterized by a short, curly brown coat, cascading curls adorning their tails, and endearing floppy ears, these spaniels captured the hearts of many. Known for their innate love of water, the Tweed Water Spaniels were revered as water dogs. Their passion for swimming was unmatched, and they displayed equal enthusiasm whether working on dry land or gracefully maneuvering through rivers and lakes. Their exceptional skill lay in retrieving waterfowl and various avian species from the river, making them indispensable companions to the fishermen who relied on their expertise. These spaniels played a vital role in helping fishermen bring their vast nets to shore, exemplifying their agility, intelligence, and dedication. Sadly, as the 19th century drew to a close, the Tweed Water Spaniel faced an unfortunate fate. Their numbers gradually dwindled, eventually succumbing to extinction. One of the contributing factors was their overuse in breeding programs aimed at producing golden retrievers, which led to a decline in the population of the Tweed Water Spaniel. Number 13. The Toy Bulldog Have you ever come across the fascinating world of the Toy Bulldog? This captivating breed emerged as an ambitious endeavor by dedicated breeders who sought to create a pint-sized version of the formidable Old English Bulldog, envisioning it as an ideal companion pet. However, despite their best intentions, the journey to establish the Toy Bulldog encountered unforeseen challenges and ultimately led to its unfortunate demise. Breeders embarked on two distinct paths in their quest to bring the Toy Bulldog to life. The first approach involved carefully breeding smaller bulldogs together over generations, with the hope of gradually reducing the breed's size. Regrettably, this method yielded offspring plagued by numerous medical conditions and significantly reduced fertility compared to their larger predecessors. Undeterred, breeders ventured down a different path, exploring the potential of crossing bulldogs with French bulldogs. This alternative approach proved to be more promising. However, as time passed, the fate of the toy bulldog grew increasingly precarious. Sometime between 1905 and 1925, the breed faced extinction, leaving behind only remnants of its existence. The term toy bulldog now commonly refers to crosses between bulldogs and pugs, which, while delightful in their own right, differ from the original breed and do not possess the same pedigree or recognition. Number 12. Kuri the Kuri once roamed New Zealand. These small, short-legged creatures possessed a distinct appearance reminiscent of a fox, captivating the attention of the Maori people who cherished their presence for centuries. As we unveil the story of the Kuri, we discover a breed that left an indelible mark on the lives of the Maori, despite ultimately facing extinction. During the era of the Maori civilization from the 13th to the 19th centuries, the Kuri was described as a docile and lethargic breed, often characterized as lackluster in energy and motivation. While not renowned for their working abilities, these dogs found their place among the Maori communities, fulfilling various roles beyond mere companionship. The Kuri possessed a unique physical appearance, distinguished by their small stature, bushy tails, muzzle-shaped noses, and erect ears that gracefully fell forward. These distinctive features set them apart in the vast canine landscape, making them a captivating sight to behold. Regrettably, the fate of the Kuri took a melancholic turn in the early 19th century. The breed faced extinction, largely due to interbreeding with European dogs that were imported into New Zealand during this time. The influx of foreign canines, while enriching in some aspects, ultimately contributed to the dilution and disappearance of the beloved Kuri breed. Number 11. Bullenbeiser. Travel back in time to the ancient year of 370 AD, when the Bullenbeiser first emerged onto the grand stage of history. This majestic breed, with its origins deeply rooted in Germany, quickly captured the hearts of dog enthusiasts throughout the Holy Roman Empire. Renowned as a formidable hunting and fighting dog, the Bullenbeiser's legacy resonates to this day. 
The German people played a pivotal role in the creation of this remarkable breed. By crossing their powerful mastiffs with mastiffs from other regions, such as the Irish Wolfhound, they skillfully fashioned the Bullenbeiser, initially known as the German Mastiff. This new breed of dog swiftly found its purpose as a loyal guardian and fierce protector during times of war. However, as the years unfolded, the Bullenbeiser's talents expanded beyond their role as mere guardians. Within the Bullenbeiser lineage, two distinct varieties emerged, the Danziger and the Brabanter. The Danziger, a larger and more imposing version, was specifically developed for military purposes, cattle handling, hunting, and even self-defense. Sporting tall, thin ears and prominent, muscular cheeks, they exude an air of strength and authority. On the other hand, the Brabanter, the smaller counterpart, showcased a similar physique but catered to different roles. As with many robust breeds, the Bullenbeiser was not exempt from certain health challenges. Their lean, muscular legs rendered them susceptible to conditions like hip dysplasia and thyroid disease, similar to other bully breeds. Nonetheless, these setbacks did little to diminish the Bullenbeiser's enduring spirit and tenacity. Over time, the legacy of the Bullenbeiser extended beyond its original domain. Modern breeds like the Dogo Argentino and the Spanish Bulldog bear remarkable similarities to their ancestral predecessor, further testament to the lasting impact of this legendary breed. Number 10. Blue Paul Terrier The Blue Paul Terrier, a breed shrouded in mystery and steeped in folklore. Delving into their origins reveals a tapestry of legends, gypsies, and the shadowy figure of a notorious pirate named Paul Jones. While the exact genesis of the Blue Paul Terrier remains a subject of passionate debate, one popular tale weaves a captivating narrative. According to this legend, the infamous pirate Paul Jones, hailing from the rugged shores of Galloway, ventured into the realm of the gypsies during the 18th century. It is said that he introduced these unique terriers to the gypsy population, leaving an indelible mark on their history. The breed acquired its name in part as a tribute to this legendary pirate. Furthermore, the distinctive feature that sets them apart, their short fur with a dark blue tint, further cemented their moniker as the Blue Paul Terrier. These remarkable canines soon found themselves embroiled in the world of dogfighting. Their cunning nature and unmatched resilience made them sought-after contenders in the pit, with an uncanny resemblance to modern-day pit dogs, the Blue Paul Terrier carved out a reputation for their tenacity and prowess in these intense spectacles of skill and strength. Number 9. Southern Hound In the late 1400s, in Wales and southern England, where the roots of one of the oldest scent breeds on record, the Southern Hound, were firmly planted. With a keen nose that could discern the faintest trails, these remarkable dogs became valued companions in the pursuit of game. Their prowess in tracking deer and hare made them the envy of hunters during the late Renaissance, when hunting was a cherished sport among the noble elite. The Southern Hound, known for its diligence and sharp senses, proved to be an exceptional tracker. The Southern Hound regrettably was not built for the pursuit of swift animals such as foxes who effortlessly darted across the landscape. This limitation frustrated hunters who sought faster companions for their pursuits. Thus began a pivotal chapter in the Southern Hound's history as breeders embarked on a mission to enhance the breed's speed. By crossing the Southern Hound with faster canines, they aimed to infuse swiftness into their lineage. This deliberate interbreeding while successful in producing faster hounds, sadly signaled the gradual decline of the pure Southern Hound. By the year 1881, the original strain of Southern Hounds had vanished, leaving behind only echoes of their noble presence. Number 8. Turnspit Dog In the vibrant landscapes of 16th century Wales and England, dogs held a special place in the hearts of humans as loyal companions. However, there was a unique breed that transcended the role of a mere companion, the Turnspit Dog, also known as the Spit Dog. These small, stocky canines with short legs found themselves immersed in an extraordinary role within the bustling kitchens of the time. Before the advent of the automated roasting spit, the cooking wheel, made of wood, required constant manual turning to ensure the meat was evenly grilled. Enter the Turnspit Dog, 
a breed selectively bred for their sturdy build and innate ability to work alongside humans. These diligent canines took their positions beside the roasting spit, using their strength and agility to rotate the wheel, allowing the succulent meats to cook to perfection. Yet, as the tides of time shifted, technology advanced and new innovations emerged. Machines known as clock jacks, designed specifically to turn spits, rendered the turnspit dogs obsolete, their once vital role gradually diminished, leading to their eventual extinction around the turn of the 20th century. Number 7. Hawaiian Poi Dog In the enchanting landscapes of tropical Hawaii, there once existed a canine enigma known as the Hawaiian Poi Dog. This short and white-furred dog, with its distinctive flat skull, wandered the island freely, captivating the imaginations of those who encountered it. The story of the Hawaiian Poi Dog begins with the Polynesians, who brought this breed along with them as they settled in Hawaii. These intrepid explorers transported not only their rich culture but also various plants and animals, including the unique dogs that would come to be known as the Hawaiian Poi Dog. Unlike other dogs of its time, the Hawaiian Poi Dog did not serve as a herder or a pet. Instead, it held a different role in the eyes of the native Hawaiians. Regarded as a source of sustenance and even considered a symbol of good luck, these dogs were raised and fattened for consumption. They played a part in the intricate tapestry of Hawaiian culture, deeply intertwined with their daily lives. However, as history unfolded and Hawaii experienced colonization, the arrival of American and European dogs forever changed the fate of the Hawaiian poi dog. Interbreeding between these new arrivals and the native dogs led to a myriad of crosses, erasing the purebred lineage of the Hawaiian poi dog from the annals of history. Its distinct traits and lineage were lost, leaving behind a void that remains unfilled. Number 6. Paisley Terrier Hailing from the picturesque land of Scotland, the Paisley Terrier emerged as a delightful companion for families, wielding its exceptional vermin-hunting skills to keep households free from the scourge of rats. Originally considered a distinct variant of the Skye Terrier, this breed was officially acknowledged by the Kennel Club in 1888. One peculiar aspect that led to the decline in the popularity of the Paisley Terrier was its lavish, long, and silky coat. Though it exuded an undeniable charm, this exquisite mane demanded meticulous care and extensive grooming. It proved to be an obstacle to the breed's practicality as a terrier, as their stunning coat hindered their suitability for traditional terrier work. Consequently, they were often categorized as toy dogs, finding their place more as beloved companions rather than skilled workers. Sadly, as time marched on, the once beloved Paisley Terrier gradually faded into obscurity, its popularity waning in the early 19th century. Despite their enchanting blue and tan coats that once captivated the hearts of show dog enthusiasts, they struggled to compete against the rising tide of other breeds. With each passing generation, the dedicated community of Paisley Terrier fans dwindled. Now it's time for today's subscriber's pick. Hold your leashes, folks, because we've just stumbled upon a canine conundrum that'll have you questioning the very concept of man's best friend. Feast your eyes on this jaw-dropping image of a dog. No, scratch that. A dog the size of a truck or a cabin. Yep, you read that right. This colossal creature appears loyal and affectionate towards its human companions, but who's to say it's not a masterfully trained weapon in disguise? Now, I don't want to sound like a skeptic, but seriously, folks, have you ever seen a dog this massive? It's like something out of a wild fantasy. Canines aren't supposed to be the size of buildings, right? But hey, stranger things have happened. What do you think, fellow pet enthusiasts? Is this gargantuan dog for real, or are we witnessing a clever optical illusion? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get the debate started. And remember, if you're ever in need of a guard dog, this one might just cover the entire neighborhood. Number 5. Xiong Gri Nestled within the embrace of the French monarchy and revered by the noble ranks, the Xiong Gri emerged as a majestic scent hound, boasting a robust stature and an unwavering hunting prowess. Adorned with a coarse and resilient coat, these remarkable canines overcame their limited sense of smell, employing sheer determination to track their quarry. While their olfactory abilities may have been lacking, 
their relentless pursuit knew no bounds. As the French Revolution swept across the land, the decline of hunting ensued, and the value of the Chien Gris gradually diminished. They found themselves intertwined with other breeds, their bloodlines merging until they faded into oblivion. With the passage of time, their noble presence dwindled, leaving only fragments of their existence to echo through the annals of history. The precise origins of the Chien Gris shroud themselves in an air of mystery. While no definitive answer exists, intriguing theories abound. Some believe that these hounds descended from the Canis Segusius, an ancient breed utilized by the Gaulish tribes that once reigned over the territories of France and Belgium. Others speculate that the breed may have originated from the Italian or Irish Spinoni, their ancestral whispers drifting across distant lands. Beyond their physical allure, their endearing personalities captured the hearts of all who crossed their path. Known for their amiable nature, unwavering loyalty, and remarkable obedience, they were true embodiments of canine devotion. However, the ethereal presence of the Chien Gris gradually faded into the mists of time, leaving behind mere fragments of their existence. Number 4. St. John's Water Dog Though the St. John's Dog eventually faced extinction in Newfoundland due to burdensome dog ownership taxes, its remarkable lineage lives on through notable modern descendants, including the revered Chesapeake Bay Retriever, the beloved Golden Retriever, and the iconic Labrador Retriever, also known as the Little Newfoundland, or the Lesser Labrador. Originally hailing from Newfoundland, these dogs possessed a distinct set of characteristics that made them equally adept in both water and on land. Renowned for their versatility, they effortlessly navigated the shores in search of hunted birds or swiftly retrieved fish ensnared in nets at sea. Their role extended beyond hunting as they served as loyal watchdogs and loving companions to families. In Labrador, they even found themselves pulling sleds as part of a team, their water-repellent coats and webbed feet facilitating their agility in the frigid waters. Although larger St. John's dogs were selectively bred for their strength in hauling timber and pulling sleds, it was the smaller ones that captured the attention of the British aristocracy. Revered for their unwavering loyalty, diligent work ethic, and innate ability to recover swiftly, these remarkable companions found themselves in high demand. Despite gaining popularity in various regions, the St. John's dog faced a gradual decline in its homeland of Newfoundland. The heavy taxes imposed on dog ownership took a toll on their population. Over time, the breed eventually disappeared, along with the traditional outdoor lifestyle that had once thrived. Number 3. Tall Tan Bear Dog In the rugged landscapes of northwestern British Columbia, a remarkable and now extinct breed once thrived, the Tall Tan Bear Dog. Standing a mere 17 inches tall at the shoulder, this compact canine possessed a unique combination of lightness and ferocity, making it an exceptional companion for the indigenous peoples who called this region home. The Taltan Bear Dog was specifically bred to hunt bears, a formidable task that required agility, bravery, intelligence, and unwavering tenacity. Its small size proved advantageous, allowing it to navigate through deep snow and leap with astonishing ease as it confronted charging bears. While the breed was named after the Taltan Nation, it was not limited to them alone. Other native nations in the area, including the Tlingit, Tagish, Kaska, and Sakani, also valued and cherished this remarkable breed. According to Taltan oral history, the creation of the Taltan Bear Dog was attributed to a divine intervention, magic. The dog was believed to be a sacred gift bestowed upon the indigenous people of northwestern British Columbia, serving as a protector and invaluable hunting companion. Sadly, the Tall Tan Bear Dog met an unfortunate fate, vanishing from existence in the 1970s or 1980s. Several factors contributed to its extinction, including the spread of modern diseases and a decline in breeding efforts. However, the Tall Tan Bear Dog's legacy remains etched in the hearts and memories of those who were fortunate enough to witness its exceptional traits and unwavering loyalty. Number 2. Hall's Healer this breed was developed by Thomas Hall in Australia to drive cattle through Sydney. Faced with the challenging task of driving cattle through the rugged terrain and enduring the harsh climate, 
Hall sought to create a hard-working dog that could meet these demands head-on. Thus, Hall's healer, now known as the Australian Cattle Dog, came into being. Thomas Hall embarked on his mission by importing canines from England, seeking mates that possessed the necessary qualities for the arduous work ahead. These dogs were then carefully crossed with domesticated dingoes, a clever and resilient native species. The infusion of dingo blood brought about a remarkable transformation, enhancing the dog's stamina, adaptability, and exceptional working abilities. The development of Hall's healer was a journey influenced by the unique circumstances of the 1840s in Australia. While breeding efforts were underway, Thomas Hall guarded his breeding lines closely and seldom allowed outsiders to obtain these remarkable dogs. It was not until his passing in 1870 that the lineage dispersed, and the transition from Hall's healer to the modern Australian cattle dog began. Renowned for their unwavering loyalty and unparalleled work ethic, the Australian cattle dog continues to be held in high esteem as a working dog. Number 1. Salish Wool Dog In the rich tapestry of North American indigenous cultures, the Coast Salish people faced a unique challenge. The need for wool in a land devoid of sheep and goats. However, their ingenuity and resourcefulness led them to develop an extraordinary solution, the Salish Wool Dogs. These remarkable dogs with their long, fluffy white fur became the key to producing blankets and other essential items for the Salish community. The Salish Wool Dogs were carefully bred by the Coast Salish people to possess the coveted trait of long, lustrous fur. Each year, the dogs were gently sheared, and their abundant white or light brown hair especially in these lighter shades, proved to be ideal for spinning. The fine strands spun from their wool closely resembled the traditional ibex wool, another prized source of Salish wool. With the Salish wool dog's wool, the Coast Salish people were able to create exquisite blankets and fabrics of exceptional quality. The fame of these remarkable dogs even reached the ears of British Royal Army Captain George Vancouver. Captivated by the Salish poodles, as he noted in his notebook, he observed that their coats were sheared close to the skin, akin to the practice of sheep shearing in England. Astonishingly, their fleeces were so dense that large chunks could be lifted without any separation or disruption. Sadly, the last known Salish wool dog passed away in 1940, marking the end of an era. The introduction of sheep's wool blankets by the Hudson's Bay Company played a significant role, rendering the Salish wool dogs less essential to the community's wool production. That's all for today. We hope the images of these dogs sparked your imagination and curiosity. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.